Hello everyone, my name is Jordi. In this training video I will explain the workspace of Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. The workspace of Premiere exists out of multiple panels. Each panel has its own function and a top right button that provides special tools to that panel. When a panel is active, a yellow border appears around it. The panels can be stretched, moved or closed. You can set up a workspace that fits your needs and save it, so that you can bring it up anytime. Premiere Pro also has preset workspaces for different kind of purposes. For now, we'll choose editing. The project panel right here is the area where you import all your clips, images and audio files. It also stores items that have been created by Premiere itself, such as your sequence, a title file, a color mat, etc. You can import your footage by simply dragging it from your explorer or finder into the project panel. Using the menu above or by right clicking and say import. To add generated files by Premiere, you can click on the icon in the bottom right and select what you want. You can also add a folder or bin for better file management within your project. Then we'll take a look at our source panel. As the name says, this is a monitor to view the source clip that is coming from the project panel. Simply double click or drag your footage into that panel to view that file. To start editing on that clip, you can simply drag it to your timeline. If you created a wrong sequence setting, Premiere will automatically notice it and it will ask you to match your sequence with your source video or to keep the setting you have made. I advise to choose Change Sequence Setting unless you have a good reason to work in a different setting. I will be handling the short keys later in this training. In a timeline, we can see multiple video and audio tracks. We can create more or delete these during editing. You can collapse a layer to view more details. The tools from your toolbar are being used for editing in your timeline, such as cutting, sliding your clips, etc. In the program panel we can now view the file that is being edited. That is the difference between those monitors. The left is the input and the right is the output. And over here we can find the effects tab. In this panel we can find all the available effects to add onto your clips in the timeline. You are also able to install third-party plugins which you can find all over the internet. Let's apply an effect to our clip in the timeline. We do this by dragging it to the desired clip. With the clip selected in our timeline we can now go to the effects control tab to view the effect we have just applied. Here we can change the values of that effect. As you can see there were already some effects applied to this clip. Actually these effects are called the properties of a clip. For example the motion, which allows you to change the position, scale, rotation, etc. The last panels I would like to show you is the history panel, where you can see what you have been done and you will be able to undo your actions. Back on the top we can find the audio mixer, which is more advanced and therefore I will not cover this in this basic training. And on the bottom right we can find the audio meters, which we do need for basic audio mixing. 